What's going on everybody? Simply Amazing is here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can live stream on Twitch using OBS and Elgato. Now I recently just started live streaming on Twitch and with help of a few friends I figured out how to do it and I'm getting really better at it as far as the settings and controls so I'm like why not just help out everyone else that don't really know how to do this. So first what you guys want to download is the OBS of course so I put the link to this in the description. The link to everything is going to be in the description below. Once you get on the website click whether you're on Windows, Mac, or this right here and once it downloads you'll open it up now there won't be nothing in here won't be no scene and nothing in here so, so what you want to do first is you make a scene over here by hitting this plus mark you'll just make a scene hit okay I'm not gonna do it because it's already here now obviously you want to make sure your Elgato is plugged in but you don't want to have the Elgato software open you just want to have the OBS open if you have them open at the same time then you won't be able to get the uh, gameplay on the OBS because it'll be opened on the Elgato so once you have everything plugged in Go to here right now, click a plus, and then you would go to video capture device. Now I'm not going to click it because I already have my video capture device. I just named it game. You can name it whatever you want. Once you click on it, you can name it Elgato, but I named it just game capture right here. So once you have it, you'll see these settings right here. So what you want to do is you want to click this one. It says game capture HD 60s. That's the capture card I have. Video uh, number one. You don't want to click this one. I don't know what's the difference, but with this one, it just didn't work. So you got to click this one right here. Now, if you are using a chat link cable, what you should do is go to configure video and change it to analog audio. I'm using a chat link cable. That way I can record my gameplay as well as other people's mics and stuff like that. So if not, then just keep it on HDMI, but chat link cable and like audio. Then you want to go down to resolution. I put it custom. You want 1920 by 1080 for the FPS. You can put 60, but I put highest FPS. Video format, I just keep all this stuff the same right here. And for audio output mode, capture audio only. So once you're done with that, you hit OK, and then you should have the screen right here. All right, so once you have all that set up, you'll see down here. Now it says game. That's what I named my Elgato. Um, I don't have my chat link cable plugged in right now, so you don't see no audio from my main screen. But if I did have it plugged in, you'll see the uh, numbers moving like you see here. Now this is my mic right here. This is what I'm using when I live stream. I use the Blue Yeti, and it's what I use for my YouTube video right now. That's why you see it moving. As far as these other things, these are like raid alerts, donation alerts, host alert. Now that, if you want me to teach you how to set that up in a separate video, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely make you a video for you guys to learn how to do that. So once you make sure your mic and your game volume is working, we're going to go to settings. Now if you go to stream right here, this is where you'll see service. Now this is where you can pick Twitch, YouTube, and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you guys want me to show you how to do YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do one video for you guys. But we're going to focus on Twitch today. So we click on Twitch. The server, now you could put the server wherever. I just keep it on auto because it's recommended. Now for the stream key. So what you want to do is go to your Twitch page. Now this is my Twitch page right here. You want to click on this. You want to go to creator dashboard. Once you're on creator dashboard, you want to go down here where it says settings and hit channel. Now do not show your stream key to anybody. That If they have the stream key, they can easily stream on your channel, which I don't know why anyone would want to stream on someone else's channel, but... Yeah, you don't want to show it. So you could just the good thing about this, you could hit copy without actually having to reveal it. So once you copy that, you'll hit copy. Go back to OBS and you would paste right in here. I'm not going to show it obviously, but then once you do that, you would hit apply. Another way is you just connect your account by just logging into your Twitch. All right, so once you have that all set up, you want to go to output. Now make sure your output mode is on advanced so you guys can see more options. Now encoder, I have on X264. I have this checked right here. For the output, you want 1920 by 1080. For rate control, you want CBR. Now the bit rate is kind of an iffy thing. This really depends on your internet connection. So what you want to do is go to do a speed test. Now I already did mine. I will link this in the description below so you guys can test out your connection. So as you guys can see, my download speed is 503. My upload speed is 931, which is actually really good. I have really good connection. Some of you guys won't be that lucky and you'll have lower upload speed, lower download speed. But here's the thing. Twitch only lets you stream at 720p at 60 frames per second. Unless you're like a partner or like a big YouTuber, then you could, up, you could stream in like 1080p, 60 FPS. But if you're just starting out, they're only going to limit you to 720p, 60 FPS. So for example, as you guys can see, it has 931. So if I have 900 131 that means i could put up my uh big bit rate to like 9,000, which is like way overkill and that's not going to be good for anybody let's say you have something lower like uh 5,000, i mean 500 upload speed or 400 upload speed that means your highest you could go is probably 4,000 or 5,000 bit rate but you don't want to have your bit rate the same as your upload speed so if you have 500 upload speed you want to put your bit rate down to like 4,000 or 3,500 
I find 3,500 bit rate is like the perfect level. You don't want anything higher. You don't want anything lower. If you don't have good connection, I say the lowest you could go is 2,500 bit rate. Anything lower than that would just ruin the quality. And anything really higher than this, if someone's trying to watch your stream with low like bad connection, your stream's gonna keep buffering and freezing on them. So I found the sweet spot of 3,500 bit rate right here. So as long as you have an upload speed of higher than 400, then you should be good with 3,500 bit rate. For keyframe intervals, keep it on zero. For this right here, put it on very fast. Profile none, two none, nothing here. Now for recording, now this is if you wanna record, as you guys can see right here, they have a start streaming and start recording button. For recording, is gonna save whatever folder you put it as. Saving format is MP4, audio track one, and you don't really have to mess with that. For audio bitrate, you wanna keep all this the same. Now we're gonna move on to audio. So you have the sample rate, 44.1 gigahertz, channel, stereo, you don't change none of that. For desk type audio device, now what I like to do is I like to have my YouTube like music playlist in the background, so I have music on my stream. So if you guys want your desktop audio to play while you're streaming, then you could set it like right here is my monitor. So it comes on my monitor, which plays, um, you know, on the OBS, you'll see, let me show you real quick. Like when I have music playing, you'll see the desktop audio thing. But if you don't want it, you can just mute the mics and you'll be good. For mic auxiliary audio device, this is what you're going to be using to commentate on your stream and all that stuff. I use the Blue Yeti. For video, I have 1920 by 1080. For output, 1280 by 720. And then it's common FPS 60. And then by cubic, straight, whatever that is, I keep that the same. All right, now once you have that set up, all you got to do is hit start streaming. Now the way you'll see if this works is if your thing goes live. So just give it a little bit of time. As you see, this is the bit rate I put. So if this box starts becoming like orange or red, then that means my bit rate is way too high. So you gotta play around with that. This is my frames per second 60. And if it drops frames, it'll show you guys right here. Now I'm just gonna mute my mic in the OBS so people can't hear me on stream just talking to myself. Probably think I'm crazy. All right, sometimes it takes a little bit to go live. Let me just refresh it. All right, as you can see, I am live right now. Let me move my applications back and forth just so you guys can see that I'm live sometimes there'll be a delay between the OBS and your stream don't worry about that that is normal all right and you could always test out your stream by listening to it as we can see the highest quality on the stream is 720p 60 frames per second this is what you're going to be limited to so don't be like alarmed if you have good connection you can't get 1080p but yeah it's that simple and then once you're done streaming all you gotta do is go back hit stop streaming and then your stream will end if you guys have any other questions Ask me in the comments below. If you want me to make a video on anything else, let me know in the comments also. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. See you next time. Peace.